Speaker, the House of Representatives is debating H.R. 3685, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act today. As well-meaning as this title of the bill sounds, I want the constituents of my 10th Congressional District of Georgia and all Americans to know why this legislation is bad for Georgia and bad for America. Just like the ill-conceived hate crimes legislation that this Democratic majority passed, this bill will increase discrimination, yes, increase, and not decrease it. I believe in the Constitution of the United States as our founding fathers intended. The First Amendment of our Constitution expressly protects religious freedom. So while I'm opposed to discrimination, I also am opposed to creating special rights and privileges for certain classes, and that is exactly what this bill does. This bill would elevate one's person's desire for a particular job over another person's right to practice and honor their religious beliefs. If H.R. 3685 is signed into law, and I pray that it will not be, it would deny the civil rights of employers, and it would abridge the freedom of association enshrined in our First Amendment. Into will enforce employers, including Christians, Muslims, Jews, and peoples of other faiths, to hire individuals that are diametrically opposed to their fundamental, fundamental belief system. If they stand up for their religious beliefs and refuse to hire those opposed to their faith, they will be sued. In fact, one thing the bill will accomplish is to dramatically increase lawsuits against employers. Further, while the Democratic majority will argue that religious organizations exempt the highly nuanced definition contained in this bill for religious organizations and religious educational institutions is so bad as to make this exemption essentially meaningless. The bill would grant special employment privileges and protected minority status to anyone that defines themselves by their sexual orientation. Yield the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. The gentleman is recognized for 30 seconds. Further, an employer can be sued for not only making an employment decision based on a person's sexual orientation, but on his perception of their orientation. Countless individuals and organizations, including Christian and Jewish schools, Christian bookstores, and even religious daycare providers, will be forced to either hire a homosexual or transgender individual or, fra or face prosecution. This legislation is unnecessary and is unconstitutional. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to do the right and courageous thing and to vote no on H.R. 3685.